A new cake pop bill signed into law today will likely provide a boost for local bakeries. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman spoke to one small business owner in Salem about the legislation. If you walk into Julie Parsons' house on any given day, chances are you'll find her baking a sweet treat. And then I'm going to add my eggs. And those as well need to be room temperature. Originally, I, I thought that I would never want it to be a so-called job, but I would love that. Parsons is the owner of Nanny Cakes, named after her grandmother, who she lost in 2020. I was just so heartbroken when I lost my nanny, but I also wanted to honor her. Armed with dozens of handwritten pound cake recipes her nanny left her, Parsons got to work. These are all the, you know, things that I liked that my nanny would make for me when I was little. Right now, Parsons sells on a person by person basis, but is working towards getting a cottage license that allows a home business owner to sell their goods on a small scale without going through food safety officials. Share nanny, not just from my home, but, you know, maybe at vendors. Cottage licenses have been in the spotlight over the past few months after a cake pop baker in Richmond was served a letter from Virginia officials warning her that she couldn't sell her cake pops at a vendor fair or promote her products on Facebook. Governor Youngkin got a hold of this and said it was a violation of the First Amendment. Monday, he signed a bill into law called the Cake Pop Bill, clarifying that advertising or promoting goods on social media doesn't count as selling them and broadens the range of local events where these goods can be sold without food safety inspection. It's just me, so I think it does make it more appealing that it's more simpler and more self-explanatory. For Parsons, she's happy this law will allow her to share her nanny's cakes with more people to enjoy. Um, she was the gr one of the greatest loves of my life. In Salem, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.